So All Kinds is all about inclusivity. You know, all kinds of bartenders, uh, we fly in from all over the world to, to come out to Tales of the Cocktail. Uh, and the, the cocktails are all different and unique. It's everything from spirit forward, you know, plays on classic martinis, but then kicking it up a notch with things like, uh, you know, caviar being served alongside as the garnish. If we can be bougie, we're gonna be bougie. Yeah, and you're taking all those, uh, an elevated program and even kicking it up a notch higher. Yeah, when it made sense, we tried to actually incorporate like a, uh, a mouche bouche, if you will, uh, a culinary uh, part that would, would, would really sync well with a cocktail. I think one of the best ones we had was that, that energy fig ball. So we had a, oh, uh, it was amazing. Yeah, the Lee Pirate it was old fashioned. Uh, it had Jefferson's Ocean, it had Martell uh, Blue Swift Cognac in it, and then we actually took um, the signature essence uh, for Ritz Carlton, uh, which has fig in it, um, and we incorporated that into the cocktail as well. And then obviously the, the Energy Date Ball had fig. It was really, really good. Yeah. Even the Holy Trinity, it was kind of your play created of that, truly really a clarified almost Bloody Mary. Yeah. Um, but then the culinary aspect of it, of having like a puff pastry with this tomato the, glaze almost. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was my favorite cocktail. Same. Part of Tales of the Cocktail is, is, is having people come in from all over the world to, to see what you're doing, what your concept is. And we felt it really important to actually immerse uh, our audience, our guests in that. Think about when you go to uh, to Disney World and you uh, you go see, that, see the Haunted Mansion and you know, before you actually go on the ride, you're in that green room. Uh, that space where they're kind of telling you what's ahead. That's what we did with our with our immersive space uh, this year. And then I think even more important for us was we got to f talk about our bar teams that came in that were executing this and make sure that they're they're the highlight of of what's happening. Another part of the concept is featuring a uh, locality within the bar, and it's almost like we we had like a whole gallery art wall, and that's all locally inspired uh, artists. The ability to take their art put it into a digital format and then put motion to it and bring it to life. Yeah. And this is uh, showcasing what New Orleans has to offer. Um, but no matter where we put all kinds, uh, we're gonna be able to take advantage of the amazing local artists and, and bring them to the forefront and hopefully get back to whatever community where right. we put all kinds at. Yeah, that's true. When you walk into the, to, to the space, uh, it's obviously a, an elevated luxury experience, but we also wanted to kind of show like our more playful side, if you will. So um, we, we took advantage of having a, a full access to the courtyard uh, at the Ritz Carlton New Orleans here and had like some uh, surprise and delights. We had yeah. a float built in the courtyard. And yeah. We had, as guests walked by, you next to you know, other people are, uh, we had team members that had the, the gloves all the way up to their, their elbows, the yeah. mask on, really trying to, to give that New Orleans experience right. and passing out frosés and then throwing beads to people as they walk by. Yeah. And then obviously, you know, the colors of Mardi Gras with the purples and golds and yellows and all that, and really just activated that courtyard to make yeah. it feel like you're kind of sitting in the middle of, well, I don't know, an elevated Mardi Gras experience. Right, you know, elevated spirits is one thing, right? So we had the, we had the Phoebe uh, in the corner uh, during the whole entire experience. That's literally a whiskey that's like 55 years old. Uh, if I had to put a number on that table, we had about $30,000 worth of uh, ingredients over there. But we wanted to really kind of surprise and delight our guests. We'll give them a special coin that they could redeem for a dram uh, from that Phoebe. So we always wanted to have that elevator spirit selection at our cocktail bar. And then some other cocktails to talk about, like what about the Jet Blue? Jet Blue. It was we, awesome, right? We had um, Lagoon Bay, uh, which gave it that insanely cool bright blue. blue color to it, which, you know, but it's still that orange aperitif. Yeah. And then you've got the Airplane, ice molds airplanes. that were an airplane. <laughs> we did coconut milk, right? which was just visually super cool and appealing, very very Instagrammable. Yep. As it melted in the drink, it started to change the profile of the drink. You can go through every single one of the cocktails from the Lanyap all the way to Jet Blue, Crockett tubs in between of just something over the top, putting smoke into a cocktail, yeah. um, freezing over the glass with a gun, right? Yep. All these unique things, but it was done fast and efficient. So the guests just had a really great time experiencing it throughout. I think when you look at Tales, there's so much going on and so many activations and parties and events. To get people to come back and say that out of everything, this is the one that stuck out most, you know, just like Rick Carlton, right? It's the best of the best. Yeah. Um, we want this activation every year to stand out above the rest. And um, I think we, we were able to accomplish that this year. I think we really want to make sure that we help put Rick Carlton on the map too. Right from being relevant in the cocktail scene, in the beverage industry. And um, when we start trying to attract more talent yep. to work at Ritz-Carlton, helping them realize 
what we're doing, that outside the box thinking um, that's happening at Ritz Carlton Hotels. And, and so it was, it was very uh, heartwarming to have people come back through um, and say, this this was it, you guys crushed. This was the Ritz Carlton right. of all the activation. You know, one of, one of the things we really wanted to accomplish with this was was to get this in people's hands and get them to experience it and, and, uh, and taste it and live it. Uh, so we can take this brand and we can take it to other Ritz Carlton. So um, it could be in Singapore, it could be in South Beach, it could be it could be all over the world. You know, it, 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 as a pop up too. Yeah. Right? You might yeah. you might see us at you know whether it's F1 or Art Basel or right. Venice Food and Wine. This is something that hopefully people can identify and say, oh my God, all kinds of, how do I get into that? Right. It's that VIP over the top experience. I yeah. I, I, I think at the end of the day, I, we, we hit all the boxes. We're having the, the cocktails come out efficiently and fast. We had the elevated spirits. We had the partnerships here. We had the bartenders here. We did cocktail safaris with them. We educated, we had a great time. Uh, and then at the end of the day, all kinds was like just a huge successful project. I, I, I it think, was. Yeah. I think uh, we we're putting Ritz Carlton on the map. Yep. Those bartenders are going to go back, continue to elevate. So now we can stick all kinds one after another. Yeah, Ritz Carlton's around the world. That's right.